Hey, what's up guys? Kmine here. Welcome in. I spent a bunch of time exploring this uh, castle, the Belura Tower Settlement over here. And uh, after exploring for a couple hours, I think I found most of the stuff that you can find in here. So I thought I was going to make a video that would showcase some of the stuff that I found that you might have missed because they're a little hidden, some areas that are not really obvious to find. And before we begin, I just want to warn you guys a little bit about spoilers. Obviously, if you're here, you probably want spoilers, but I'm just warning you just in case. So the first one is pretty obvious. I think most of you guys probably found this already. The storm room key gets uh, given to you from the boss of the area, the main boss, the lion. Uh, once you have the key, simply go to this small private altar bonfire over here. And head to the left. Cross this bridge right here. And this is a door you're going to be unlocking. Now you're going to find this lady inside this room here. What you're going to want to do is speak with her and nothing's going to happen. If you do want something to happen and get a reward from her, you simply have to equip the new helmet you got from the boss as well, called the Divine Beast Head. The second item you might have missed is the Well Depths Key. This one is pretty simple as well. Just start from the small private altar, Grace as well, and just follow my path. Right here in the corner, right over this body, you should be finding the Death's Well key. To use the key you just found, just head to the Bear Light Tower Settlement to Grace, and just head this way. And this is the door you're going to be unlocking, which will give you access to a whole new area over here. Now, one thing that is worth mentioning about this new zone you just discovered is right here, there's going to be a dual wielding knight just like the one you've encountered earlier in the zone except this one will drop you a really nice weapon so super worth killing him so this last spot is not super hidden it's uh this place right here i couldn't figure out how to get to for the life of me it took me embarrassingly long to find how to get there i am right here currently in between the small private altar and the sage front so let me show you how to get there Just go right through that door and uh, yeah, that's about it. It was pretty easy to find, but it took me, like I said, embarrassingly long to find this. So hopefully this helps out some of you guys. This is about all the little quote unquote secrets that I found in the Beluat Tower Settlement. I'm currently playing and will be playing my entire Elden Ring DLC playthrough on Twitch. So if you guys are interested in chilling with us and experiencing the DLC with us, I'll put a link in the description. I hope you guys found the video helpful. As always, if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, drop a little comment. If there's some stuff that's hidden in this area that I haven't covered in this video that you think is worth mentioning, feel free to share with us. And I hope you have a good rest of your day.